Here in the i button and in the description box below, you will get complete playlist of Fourier series. Welcome to video number 28 and in this video, we are going to start a very important topic on Fourier series that is Parseval's identity or Parseval's formula. Okay. So before I start this video, I would request you to subscribe to my channel. And if you learn something from my videos, then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of uh, Fourier series with your friends. In this way only you can support me. So let us start. What is Parseval's identity or you can say Parseval's formula for the Fourier series? Yes. First of all, see what is Fourier series for any function f of x in a given interval. Okay. The Fourier series for any function f of x in the interval a comma b is given by f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n sin 2 n pi x upon b minus a. This is the general formula for Fourier series for any function f of x in any given interval. Okay. Let's suppose this is my equation number 1. What we need to do is, yes, we need to find the values of this constant. Okay. That is a naught, a n and b n. Okay. So the formula for a n is a, uh, sorry, the formula for a0 is 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x. Okay. The formula for a n is, yes, here you can see, 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x into cos of 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx. And in the same way, the formula for b n is equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x sin 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx. This formula for a0, a n and b n is Euler's formula. Okay. Yes. So we have the Fourier series of any function in any interval as this. Okay. Where a0, a n, b n are constants. By Euler's formula, we can find the values of a0, a n and b n. Okay. Yes. Now, yes. Most important part of this video that is according to the Parseval's identity or formula, integration a to b f of x whole square dx equals to b minus a upon 2. Yes, within this bracket, we have a naught square upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n square plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n square. Okay, this is what? This is Parseval's identity or Parseval's formula for Fourier series. Okay, and here in this video only, we are going to prove this. Okay, yes, provided that the Fourier series for f of x converges uniformly in the interval a comma b okay yes it means the value of f of x okay must exist in this given interval that is a comma b okay yes let us see what is parcels identity that is integration a to b f of x whole square dx equals to b minus a upon 2 yes within this bracket we have a naught square upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n square plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n square okay if you see this part yes and we have this part also that is f of x equals to something something according to the Fourier series okay yes if you want to make this part as this okay what we need to do is simply multiply okay simply multiply f of x okay so that this will become f of x whole square okay here we can see we have f of x whole square then we will integrate with respect to x and limit is from a to b okay it means after multiplying f of x here okay yes we need to multiply f of x in the equation number one okay and after multiplying f of x we will integrate okay we will integrate with respect to x and the limit is from a to b okay let's do this multiplying equation one okay that is Fourier series of any function f of x by f of x both side and integrating from a to b okay integrating from a x equals to a to x equals to b with respect to x okay yes that is f of x will become f of x whole square integration from a to b and with respect to we are integrating this function with respect to x okay this is going to be a naught upon 2 integration yes we need to multiply this okay in each and every term that is integration a to b f of x dx again yes here Summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n integration a to b f of x cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx. Here, yes, we are we are we are integrating with respect to x and this quantity is independent of x. So we have written this before this bracket. Okay, so in summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n integration a to b f of x so cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx. In the same way, this is going to be plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n integration a to b f of x sin 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx. Okay. Now, 
what is this part that is integration a to b f of x dx let us see yes here you can see integration a to b f of x dx okay so we need to take this to the left hand side that, that is b minus a upon 2 into a naught okay if you see this part is equals to take this b minus a here and 2 will be in the denominator part so b minus a upon 2 into a naught is equals to integration a to b f of x dx okay so now coming to this part yes so integration a to b f of x dx can be written as a naught into b minus a upon 2 okay similarly here also summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n now this part okay that is integration a to b f of x cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx let us see what it is yes if you see from this part integration of f of x cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx in uh, limit is from a to b this is equals to yes simply take this to the left hand side this will be in the numerator part this will be in the denominator part that is b minus a upon 2 into a n equals to integration of a to b f of x cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx okay yes so this is going to be this part okay this part is going to be a n okay this is as it is that is summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n okay this part is as it is now this is going to be this part is going to be a n into b minus a upon 2 okay yes in the same way you can form this part as okay you can make this part as summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n this part is as it is this part okay this part that is integration a to b f of x sin 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx can be written as b n into b minus a upon 2 okay yes i hope this step is very much clear to you okay now you can see yes here you can see that is b minus a upon 2 b minus a upon 2 b minus a upon 2 is common in all three terms so we can take common that is b minus a upon 2 okay and here we have integration a to b f of x whole square dx okay now if you take this part common that is b minus a upon 2 here this is going to be a naught square upon 2 this is going to be summation of n equals to 1 to infinity a n square and here okay plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n square okay and this is what this is the parsevals identity or you can say parsevals formula for any Fourier series okay so we have successfully proved this part okay now okay if if the interval is like this okay that is minus l to l okay if the interval is from minus l to l that is b minus a will become how much 2l okay because this is a this is b b minus a l minus of minus a okay l minus of minus l will become 2l okay in that case what is my Fourier series that is f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a that is 2l so 2 2 gets cancelled we have cos n pi x upon l similarly here it is sub plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n sine okay 2 2 okay 2 n pi x upon 2l so 2 2 gets cancelled so we have n pi x upon l okay then the parcels identity okay yes according to this that is possible identity will become here we have integration a to b okay that is minus l to l integration minus l to l f of x whole square dx is equals to b minus a upon 2 what is b minus a? that is 2l so 2l upon 2 will become l okay and rest is as it is okay that is some uh, within this bracket we have a naught square upon 2 plus summation of n equals to 1 to infinity a n square plus summation of n equals to 1 to infinity b n square okay now let's suppose we have this kind of interval that is in the interval 0 to 12 okay let's say we have interval size that is interval as 0 to 12 in that case also this is a this is b so b minus a is going to give me 12 okay in that case also we have possible identity that is integration 0 to 12 okay this is a this is b so integration 0 to 12 f of x whole square dx is going to give me same part okay because here also the value for b minus a what is b minus a that is 12 okay here we also had 12 here we also have 12 so this is going to be as it is okay the result is same that is l into a naught square upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n square plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n square okay yes now if the interval if the interval in the half range cosine series is 0 to l okay now we are talking about half range okay cosine series as well as sine series 
first we'll talk about half range cosine series if the interval in the half range cosine series is given as 0 to l okay that is b minus a will become okay l minus u that is l okay in that case what is my Fourier series that is f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation of uh, summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x upon l okay what is this n pi x upon b minus a and b minus a is how much l okay yes in that case the <coughs> parcel identity will become yes integration 0 to l f of x whole square dx equals to here we had b minus a upon 2 okay if you remember the parcel identity here we had b minus a upon 2 so what is b minus a that is l that is l upon 2 yes a naught square upon 2 plus summation of n equals to 1 to infinity a n square okay now again yes that is if the interval in the half range sine series okay is 0 to l that is b minus a is again l okay in that case what we can say that is f of x equals to summation of n equals to infinity b n sine n pi x upon l okay this is the Fourier half range sine series okay yes for any function f of x in that case the uh, parcel identity will become integration 0 to l f of x whole square dx equals to b minus a upon 2 and what is b minus a that is l so it is l upon 2 summation of n equals to 1 to infinity b n square okay so these are the formulas that we are going to use in various problems okay now if you go to the playlist here okay in video number 29 and 30 okay you will see this problem and this problem respectively in video number 29 okay you are going to watch this problem okay very 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 important problem and in video number 30 we are going to watch this problem okay yes so first problem is obtain the Fourier series for y equals to x square in yes the uh, the interval is from minus pi to pi okay yes first we will find the Fourier series for y equals to x square okay in this interval that is minus pi to pi and after deducing or after obtaining the Fourier series for this function we need to deduce that 1 upon 4, 1 upon 1 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 2 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 3 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 4 to the power 4 plus dot 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 equals to pi to the power 4 upon 90. Okay. Yes. If you go to the playlist here in video number 2. Okay. In video number 2, you uh, can see that I have already solved function x square. Okay. I have already solved. I have already obtained a Fourier series where the function is x square and the range is from minus pi to pi. Okay. But how can you identify uh, that here in this problem we are going to uh, apply parcel identity. Okay. Yes. If you see in the uh, in the question further more added that is also deduce that 1 upon 1 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 2 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 3 to, to the power 4 okay plus dot 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 equals to something okay that is pi to the power 4 upon 90 here you can see yes here we have something to the power 4 okay something to the power 4 okay since we have this 4 in the powers okay so we are here in this problem we are going to take the help of possible identity okay yes so this is the important point where you can identify whether to use possible identity or not okay in the uh, video number 30 you can see this is question number 2 and in this question we need to prove that in the interval that is 0 to l x equals to l upon 2 minus 4 l upon pi square into this okay yes here you can see the range is from 0 to l that is half range okay so it is half range sine series or cosine series yes here you can see yes here we have cos terms okay it means this is the question that belongs to half range cosine series okay yes and after solving this part okay again we need to deduce something that is 1 upon 1 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 3 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 5 to the power 4 plus dot 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 equals to pi to the power 4 upon 96 here again you can see 1 to the power 4 okay 3 to the power 4 i mean to say if there is something to the power 4 okay and we need to deduce that part we will take the help of possible identity or possible formula for for this series okay let us start solving this problem Thank you. Thank you so much.